In this video, we're going to walk through an example of solving for acceleration. And we're going to be using this formula. So acceleration equals final velocity minus initial velocity over time. We're going to look at this problem. So a car traveling 70 kilometers per hour east changes its velocity to 90 kilometers per hour east in 4.5 seconds. Determine the magnitude and direction of the average acceleration of the car in meters per second squared. So we're going to start this problem by listing everything that we know. So we're going to start with our initial velocity, which is 70 kilometers per hour in the east direction. So that is VI, 70 kilometers per hour east. We're also told our final velocity. So our final velocity is 90 kilometers per hour, also in the east direction. So VF equals 90 kilometers per hour east. And finally, we're given the time. And so we're told that this change takes 4.5 seconds. And so the time equals 4.5 seconds. Now, we need to know the change in velocity, but we also need our velocity to be in meters per second because we're asked for acceleration in meters per second squared. So we're gonna do this in kind of a one-step process. So first thing we're gonna do is calculate the change in velocity. So our change in velocity is gonna equal our final velocity minus our initial velocity. So 90 kilometers per hour east minus 70 kilometers per hour also east. So our change in velocity is 20 kilometers per hour east. Now we need to convert that value into meters per second. And so to do that, we're gonna take our 70 kilometers per hour, or sorry, our 20 kilometers per hour. We're first gonna change kilometers into meters. So we know that one kilometer is 1,000 meters. And by doing that, we can cancel out our kilometers. So now we have meters per hour. So now we're going to change hours into seconds. So we know that one hour has 3,600 seconds. And we can cancel our hours out now, and we're left with seconds. We have meters per second. And with some rounding, we get 5.6 meters per second east. <clears throat> we can plug this into our equation now. So our formula for acceleration is our change in velocity, or Vf minus Vi over time. And so we're going to plug in 5.5, oh, sorry. 5.6 meters per second east divided by 4.5 seconds. And we get 1.2 meters per second squared in the east direction. The reason our units are meters per second squared is because we have meters per second as our velocity and then we're further dividing that by seconds. And so what we're essentially doing is multiplying these two denominators together. And so it's the same as saying meters per second times one over seconds. And so seconds times second is meters per second squared, just as an aside about units. And the units of our acceleration will always be uh, a distance on the top and a time unit squared on the bottom.